Oh hey everyone, Brian Altano here from IGN, and on today's Daily Fix, Microsoft revealed a brand new Xbox controller, Sony has quietly redesigned the PS5, and a PS5 firmware update is launching today with a bunch of cool features. It's the Daily Fix. Microsoft is introducing a brand new, significantly cheaper version of its popular Xbox Elite Series 2 controller today. The Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 Core is a two-toned controller, kind of looks like an Oreo, with matte black grips and a primarily white body. Retailing at $129.99, the Elite 2 Core is more competitively priced when compared to the standard Elite 2 controller, which costs $179.99. However, that cheaper price tag also comes with some caveats. The main ones include the lack of a carrying case, paddles, extra thumbsticks, and a standard D-pad. Fortunately, there is an option to buy the additional parts that are included in the standard Elite controller separately. Microsoft confirmed in a press release that it will sell a new complete component pack, which includes the carrying case, charging dock, additional thumbsticks, a USB-C cable, and a standard D-pad for just $59.99. So basically, if you own an Xbox and you've wanted to jump in on the higher end controller options available on those systems, but you also want to save a few bucks, or maybe you're not super interested in all the bells and whistles that usually come with the Elite 2, this is a great opportunity for you. Personally, I love playing games with my Elite 2, but I don't think I've ever used the charging case like more than once except for like the first day. So this Elite Series Core probably would have been the smarter play for me and my wallet, which is constantly feeling the pinch. Microsoft also confirmed that it would bring the Elite 2 controller to the Xbox Design Lab sometime this holiday season, marking the first time an Xbox Elite Series controller will be available in the Xbox Design Lab since the customization program launched back in 2016. Now, if you can't wait for that, the Elite Series Core controller launches on September 21st with pre-orders available now. And it does kind of look like an Oreo cookie, doesn't it? Look at it, what a little cutie. Speaking of next-gen hardware redesigns, Sony just quietly redesigned the interior of its popular PS5 console, meaning consumers who purchase a PS5 now will actually own a slightly different piece of hardware than people who already bought one, or at least on the inside. On the outside, it will still look identical to the PS5 you all come to know by now, whether you love it or hate it. Sony has redesigned the PS5 specifically to make it more energy efficient. As reported by The Verge, YouTube user Austin Evans took apart the redesigned console and found that Sony had made some fairly significant changes inside of it. Despite not being a rebranded update akin to something like the PS4 Slim, Sony has updated the PS5's internal roughly once a year to make the machine more energy efficient and presumably cheaper to produce, which is an interesting flex considering they just raised the price of the PS5 by $50 in many territories. The updated model's motherboard has been reduced in size by about two inches, which is, I hated the size of that motherboard. I'm so glad it's smaller. The cooling has been changed through an additional heat pipe at the back of the console, and a smaller heat sink and the SSD enclosure has also been changed slightly. Though Sony have, may have other reasons for updating the console, Evans claimed in his video that the new PS5 uses around 20 to 30 fewer watts while gaming and is therefore the most energy efficient version of the console so far. That's the buzzword version. You don't have to say it like that. If you like to tinker with your video game hardware, uh, this redesign might alter your plans to look under the hood of your PS5 and swap around some parts, so be sure to plan accordingly. Actually, plan accordingly no matter what you do in there. If you're gonna open up a hot $550 console and just start taking stuff out, be smart about it. And finally, on top of updating its hardware, Sony has also announced that it's updating the PS5 firmware today. The new update includes a 1440p monitor support, game lists, and a new social feature that will be available globally today, September 7th. Announced in a PlayStation blog post, Sony's Vice President of Platform Experience, Hideaki Nishino, said that these highly requested features, first confirmed to be on the way in July, will finally be fully released today. The blog post also revealed that Sony is testing other new features, including the ability to do voice search for YouTube videos from anywhere on the PS5 console. It's also adding new features to the PlayStation app, including the ability to launch a remote play session straight from your phone and the option to request that friends share their screens. The 1440p support is particularly important for PC players who have been requesting the feature since the console was released, especially as its competitor, the Xbox Series X, has supported 1440p since launch. Don't fight in the comments about that. Be adults. The resolution can be changed in the PS5 system settings by proceeding to video output resolution and finally to 1440p. That update is available right now, so power on your PS5 and check it out.
And that's your daily fix for today, September 7th. This weekend is D23, Disney celebration of all things Disney. And since they own everything from Marvel to Star Wars to Avatar to Goofy to various rats like Mickey Mouse and Ratatouille or Remy, I think his name is, there will surely be plenty of news and IGN will be on top of all of it. So be sure to check out all of our coverage on IGN and YouTube. Oh, and uh, be sure to download the official IGN app on all your devices. Subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for everything else, keep watching IGN. I'm Brian Altano. And thank you for watching The Daily Fix. Have a great day, and I love you. Wow. Disney owns that kiss now, too. <laughs>